can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. And today we're heading over to the shop to get some things done on the 128. Guys, the camera really can't pick up the color. Oh my lord, I just love this thing. Shout out to RC, this absolutely looks like a paint job. Let me go ahead and get all these decals out for you guys. Head straight to the shop. All right guys, my brother is dropping off the decals. Shout out to everyone right here who's purchasing decal to support the channel. I love you guys so much. You guys absolutely killed it today. Like, oh my goodness, in one night, you guys demolished. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much. Every decal supports the channel. If you guys want to support the channel, be shout out in the next video. Make sure to check out the link down below. Without further ado, catch you guys at the garage. Taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night. Looking at you, making your moves, there is no silence. So we are here, pulling up. Let's get it. Back at the shop, I got the 128. Hopefully this thing should all be color matched by the next time you guys see her. We're gonna take her down to the shop, but we do got a mod for this thing. Do you know what it is? I think we're gonna be working on the trim piece for the same Hell thing. yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's go ahead. I'll show you guys what it is. Check out this trim. M, this is M3. This is not M Sport. Um, it's a little bit peeling right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not too bad. I think the one on my current steering wheel is peeling from there as well. The rest of this thing is perfect. You guys can see how bad they get. This is my brother's. This is the M Sport. You guys see there's not like an indentation here. Dude, this is really bad. Probably gonna have to rewrap that. That looks terrible. <laughs> but yeah, this one has this little groove here. I think this looks super sick. I think that it's gonna change the interior completely. So let's go ahead and just install this guy real quick. Guys, check out this trim. So it has the LCI paddles, which are really nice. I believe these like, I don't know if they're called DCT paddles. No, I think they're just LCI paddles. You guys can see this trim is in pretty, like almost brand new shape. The only flaw is like right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's the only flaw right there, but this is like, this is an M Sport and it has the paddles and you know, this is a pretty, it's a nice interior, this is a sports package. So I think with this, it's gonna look super badass. Let's go ahead and just replace it. I'm not even gonna disconnect anything. That's just doing too much. We're just gonna take out the bolt from behind this thing. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a bolt right up here and then the same one on the other side and then just put on the new trim. That should be pretty easy. So I'll show you guys in a few seconds, the whole thing put together. So three, two, one. And just like that, that's how you make a steering wheel look 10 times better. This looks, oh my God. I didn't have to replace the steering wheel. It makes it look so much better. It has the paddles, the sport airbag, now the M trim. This is good enough, honestly, if you're not trying to upgrade your whole steering wheel. These trims are about $100 brand new on eBay. I found this guy selling it for 50 bucks with a small little flaw. So that's not a big deal. I don't want to spend extra 50 bucks for that little thing. Dude, guys, this looks, guys, this looks insane. With the paddles though. All right guys, at this point, this car is ready to go to the shop. Can't wait for that bumper to be paint match. It's gonna be so sick. And you can finally slap on the diffuser and slap on the exhaust system, the quad tips. It still looks so badass once it's finished. Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing out of here. All right. Oh boy, this is hard one-handed. All right, let's head out. We're heading out, let's drop off that 128. Guys, I was actually, I had my exhaust schedule to get done this morning and your boy missed it. I forgot my 128 at the shop and I should have went home with the 128 last night, but I was too excited with the 435 and I had Erlan over, I took the 435 home. So I messed that up. Uh, you guys know that the shop's about 45 minutes from my house, almost an hour sometimes. So it really wasn't worth driving back to get it and then driving it back. Like literally the exhaust shop was right next to my house. So that really sucks. So after this car gets painted, we're gonna be taking it back to our house and hopefully getting the exhaust work done. But right now, we just want it to be OEM paint matched. I wanna get there, just take my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and park this on the side of the road. I wanna get it super dirty. Just finished speaking with Antonio. So we're gonna head back to the shop right now. The car is in good hands. He says he could finish it by tomorrow or a day. Uh, so we'll see how that stuff works out. Meantime, let's get back to the shop. Jonathan's gonna meet me against there. See what else we're gonna be doing today. Ooh, baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay the night. Time goes fast, I don't care. I've known you long enough. Guys, we are back at the garage. I think John is here, I see his car. Shake it, bacon. <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm chilling. All right, guys, I got me and my brother's food. So 
not mine, not mine, <laughs> not mine, not mine. Ooh, meal preps and some natural valleys. Turns out that Devon, he went to go register the 330i, which is a car you guys saw in the garage, it's 335. And it's 335, the lady was super mean and she ended up giving him a slip that he needs to go see CHP, so he won't be able to register for two months, which sucks, and he forgot to ask for a moving permit, which means he cannot drive the car legally. As for this car, it's a long story. This is a... Uh... There's a piece of baloney. So basically, uh, the 330i, it's gonna need to get parted out or uh, go to the junkyard or be sold because uh, basically he has the pink slip, so he, it can go to a junkyard. But it's it, but the pink slip's already been signed off to another person, and he needs to get, and he needs to get the pink slip signing off from them to him, and he has no contact with that guy whatsoever. So there's no way we would register under his name, unfortunately. California is super strict, so that pretty much that means the car is. The shot, it's, it sucks, but that's the thing about California. If you don't have the proper paperwork, you can't do anything like at all. Even the car, if the car is running, that car is perfectly running, it just needs an axle. But now we're gonna have to part out the whole car. So that's when you guys see like random cars being parted out, you're like, what's wrong with it? Just stupid stuff like that with paperwork being missing. All right, John, see you later. So yeah, at this point, we're gonna go pick up Devon so he can come back to the shop, pick up his Genesis. So yeah, let's go pick him up. I didn't realize I'm promising Devon that uh, picking him up is it the same time as rush hour? Well, this sucks. I must be a good friend. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go pick him up and we'll bring him back to the garage. Devon, we are super close to this guy. Oh, he's not in his car. Interesting. Oh, he just has his door casually open. Let's just take the car. Why not? Like, legit, where is he? How did he just leave his door open? <laughs> what the hell? Um, guys, if someone wants a free 335, the door is just right up. Is the keys in here? Imagine if the keys are sitting over here somewhere, I would slap them. So I was trying to steal your car. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Shaking bacon. I oh, was at the paperwork. My rental. Oh yeah. So oh shit. So this do this set of documents right here is preventing me from getting my license. I'm trying to work on getting my license so I can start bidding on some cars for you guys. Meantime, huh? Where do you leave? Man? Your rental. Shit happens in life, you know? Uh, we'll, we'll give you guys more news about this soon. Uh, right now, we're just gonna get you back to the shop to get your other car, right? Your, your third car. Okay. <laughs> this thing never ends, my lord. Guys, this is my first coding, dude. This is my man. Why is he parking in my spot? <laughs> so how was the ride, Devon? Were you relaxed? Were you comfortable? That's true. That's what's up, that's what's up. You see, guys, I'm a good driver. That's all that matters. Guys, oh my God, I love this car. I love it so much. All right, where's the boys at? I bet you they're watching YouTube video. Imagine they're watching me. That'd be such good friends. What's up, guys? <laughs> 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 Imagine the SWAT team just goes in. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. <laughs> it looks good, right? Dude, it looks like an M4. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. This is a wrap. Bro, I, it looks like a paint job, right? It looks like a paint job. I know, the wheels are going on soon. The wheels are going on soon. Damn. <laughs> Right? But even that diffuser, you see that? Some of us are just gonna be heading back home. I know we just got here, but there's not much we can do. We figured out a few things that we need to get home to do. Personal things, school-wise, before we submit all of our grades. So yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna have to conclude the video, unfortunately. All right, guys, before we're actually heading over to uh, the, the body shop, I actually have a subscriber that pulled up. Um, <laughs> we're gonna actually be driving his 428. What's going on, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, dude? <laughs> Stop by. He's actually picking up uh, the dual exhaust that, because he, he has a 428, so he has the two single tips on one side, I think. So he's gonna do the dual exhaust on this. It's currently stage one. It has burbles and all that stuff already, which is pretty cool, with just a stage one tune and a muffler delete. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out for a test drive and see how loud this thing is. Oh, buddy. Is that the guy with the blue M3 obsessed or no? I don't know. 
Because <laughs> I met him at Week Fest, so. Oh, really? Dang. All right, let's take it out. All right, guys, I'm actually going to drive this and not record as much because it's super low, and I'm not trying to rip off his transmission, so. <laughs> that was cool. Actually, the lowest thing, uh, there's there's an actual, like, an X brace underneath the exhaust, so that's pretty much the lowest thing. Oh, actually, really? no, the lowest thing is in my car right now is the jack point. Nah. Yeah. Trust me, I scrape <laughs> on them all the time. Okay, first stop. Oh, what's going on? Oh, there we go. Okay. Hold on. I'll catch you guys in a sec. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Guys, okay, I'm back. It was a little scary, but it's actually not as low as it looks because I the speed bumps, it, it didn't do anything apparently. But right here at this turn, I scraped so hard and he was like, hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No. That's a low life. <laughs> I can't do if that. If you're gonna be low, stay I, low. I don't know how to do about that. <laughs> this is my exact color and my exact body kit with some BC coils. So if you guys like how this stance looks, just get BC coils. This is super sick. It actually it's makes- it makes a huge difference, dude. Oh my god. That is sick. Dear heaven. Alright guys, so I'll catch you guys when we're actually at the body shop now. I'm sorry, but we, we, I had to drive. Oh, no, you're good. How you doing? I was live treating you. It'll be like that sometimes, bro. So Johnny, why, why the hell are you here today? Alright. He doesn't want me to get a copyright. Good guy, good guy. Anyways, what's shaking, Bacon? What's going on here? I do need to put some more transmission fluid in my transmission because it's leaking stuff. Damn. And this is the last time you're driving until you do so. Yeah, so I have to let it sit for like five hours or something like yeah. that. And then I have to add some food. And then I actually have a pan coming in in a few days. And then I have to cool. do that. Cool. So I'll do that. So yeah, he has to get that done. That's the only pretty much flaw that was with this car when he got it. So he has to get that done. I cannot believe he drove 1,600 miles on that thing. Oh my God. Anyways, <laughs> the transmission's fine though? It, it shifts. Does it slip? No. Okay. It's, it's actually super smooth. We actually did the uh, transmission flash yesterday, and it, it's just way better. Really? Yeah, like way, way better. It was way smoother. So in drive, it stays around 2,000. It doesn't go above 2,000. So it saves a bunch of gas. Dang, what the heck? And then when you put it into sport, it shifts at like 5,000. So you can like... It's like either eco mode or like yeah, full exactly. sport. It kinda, it's, that's exactly what it is. It's just like that's that. sick. That's sick. Oh, damn. I have to maybe take it out for a test drive. Check out what it's like. Anyways, let's go pick up the 128. I want to see here. I miss it so much. So you can put the two one series side by side. And then hopefully get some exhaust work done on that car. Because I really want to see that quad tip on there. But hopefully that'll be in the next video. Let's just go pick up the 128 right now. Johns, are you ready, dude? dude. It's going <laughs> to look so good. Oh my god, let's go pick her up. Oh my. That car is gonna have an M3 body, an M1 one body M. kit. 1M. One M. One oh yeah, I forgot. You have to say it like that. 1M <laughs> body kit. One my M. bad. Excuse me. I'm calling. But um, basically, it's gonna have that, which is gonna look super sick. The diffuser is gonna be on there. And then also, it's gonna have the quad tip, which is gonna look really sick. So, quad tip, hopefully, in the near future. But right now, it's gonna, at least it'll look. At least it'll look all one color. Yeah, you know what I mean? It doesn't look like a salvage title. You know what I mean? So let's go pick it up. I'm super hyped for it. It might actually be outside. So flipping the camera. This is a shop right here. Bro, the color is so obvious. Like if, if you hit this, you're blind. <laughs> you have to be blind to hit this thing. Guys, look at it. Oh my God. What? The paint came out better than the actual car. <laughs> I think the car is hella dirty, right? Guys, so that is the 1M bumper. Sensors and everything are in there. And then also the quad tip exhaust. We just have to put the quad tips as well. Damn, that looks really good. Oh, shout out to you. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Damn. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead, pay for this, and then head back. All right, guys, so right now at this point, the car is filthy absolutely filthy because it came back from the body shop you already know but my boy jonathan became a professional detailer i think he got your your certificate recently right certificate <laughs> <laughs> you did not buy it off ebay but anyways <laughs> the car oh my god guys what it the looks, hell it, actually looks insane. it looks I phenomenal <laughs> It looks. As soon as you get the quad tips. Oh, it, it's gonna look killer, dude. It's gonna look killer, and, it, and it's all super dirty right now, guys. So, um, oh my god. And also the diffuser stick it inwards a little bit. So once you actually pull it out and actually put the right screw in there, it's gonna be absolutely stunning. So, guys, one M front bumper, one M rear bumper. This thing's really coming together. I think it looks super good for what it is. I'm still keeping the badge on there. Still a 128. I will never ever rep something I don't have. But anyways, head back. Jonathan's gonna help us detail it, make it look stunning, and then take some pictures for you guys. Oh, yeah. Back at the shop with both babies. Let's go ahead and uh, show you guys a better look. We got actually we're gonna wash and detail the 128 for you guys. Oh, 
Oh Ooh. my god, dude. This is really so good. good. I've only had the M Sport side skirts too. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive. saw the 128 oh my lord jonathan killed it this thing's looking like an absolute demon right now i love how it looks super happy how the car came out hopefully in a, not probably the next video but the video probably after that we're gonna be hopefully getting the quad exhaust in it looks so good with that bumper oh my god it really changes the whole car honestly i prefer this over the sport and i normally don't like m style you know m rep bumpers but mainly because this one is not a common bumper at all it still looks really good and it's shaped really nicely even though it's not meant for this car so i think it looks super good you guys let me know what you think down below quad tips are going in see i think it's gonna make it so sick i'm leaving the badge on so don't worry i just want to give it a huge special shout out to Jonathan for dedicating a lot of his time to cleaning up the car. So shout out to him for that. He also has a 1 Series himself, if you guys didn't know that. He has a 135i, so check out his channel down below if you guys want to show him some love. Without further ado, guys, pop a decal if you guys want to be shout out in the next video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the search with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.